What's going on with you, man? It's cracking, cuz it's cracking, my cuz what it is. Man, you know, well, you know, we was here, you know, saying that fresh game. We wanted to figure out, you know, a new way to get this tape to these fans and get them to understand what was going on with this tape. You know, this is a good project for you. But, you know, what I want to know is, you know, what does this project mean to you? What Explain to us what does Long Live Fresh Gang mean to you. Long Live Fresh Gang? Let me tell you so. Long Live Fresh Gang? It means it mean what it means, man. Long Live Fresh Gang. No matter who comes in my life and who we're going to live, who comes into the label, Fresh Gang, if they leave, they still can't stop it. Fresh Gang will continue with or without you, you know what I'm saying? You know, getting into that, you know, it's been a while since Fresh Gang, you know, the first thing to drop from Fresh Gang was a group project. Yeah. And, um, you know, I noticed that some of the artists from Fresh Gang, the group, have all, you know, decided to do solo projects or do their own thing. Is that still an extension of Fresh Gang or is that uh, just them doing their own thing? Nah, it ain't got nothing to do with Fresh Gang. Everybody left, everybody decided to do, do their own thing. So I wish them luck. Salute to the whole thing. I ain't, I don't care that he left. It's all good. Everything happened for a reason. That's all I got to say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, with that being said, that means that, you know, what's really up next for Fresh Gang? What's going on for Fresh Gang up next? What's really up next for Fresh Gang? This is all the focus on me. Now Now I'm back. I'm focused on the music. Homie Keen that's telling me focus on the music. My homie Nate Loco has told me focus on the music. My baby moms, you know what I'm saying, CM, she told me to focus on everybody said me focus on the music. So yeah, right now. My homie can't forget the homie Jesse. Focus on the music. So now right now, I'm focused back on the music. For this last year, basically this year I really kind of focus more on the music. Yeah. This year. Yeah. Because the last person left this year. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. So it was focused on the music, because I ain't really want to be a rapper, you feel me? I wanted to sit back in the cut and just bring out the artists and listen to people. Cause I like music, I like all type of music. And I just like helping people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm so. I'm still a good guy to you, you know, since I like helping people, so you know. Yeah, so, you know, with that being said, you know, on this project, you got a lot of, you know, commercial beats. Is there a reason why you chose to put this project with commercial beats instead of coming with originals? Yeah, right now. I want people to hear me on other people's beats and how I could remix it and do it my way and do the crit mix. You know what I'm saying? I crit mix everything. And when I say crit mix, it don't officially gotta be crit songs. I'm talking about crit mix, me. Crit mix artists in the game. But I just switch to the song and make it my way and make it different. You know what I'm saying? When you hear some of these songs, you probably don't believe it's the original song. I make it sound probably yeah. better than the original songs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some of the songs you probably hear, you don't want know what the, where I got the beat from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So right now, just just a little teaser going towards my own EP and album wise, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand, definitely understand. That's yeah. good, that's good. So with that being said, you know, I'm gonna give you a couple questions about this project, you know. To me, as your interviewer and as a friend, you know, there's a couple songs on there that really shine, you know, more than others, the way you flip them over the other tracks. One of the songs is uh, a song called Fake Love. And I know it's a deep song because it goes into a lot of stuff going on, but I'd like for you to touch on why you thought that was a way to flip that song and, you know, and to go. Being that it was, you know, the, uh, you know, the Kevin Gates, you know what I'm saying, song, you know, show what you, you know, tell me what you, how you came to your conclusion to make that song. Uh, I came with that song, man. Like I said, I'm going through stuff in my life right now. I'm going through all type of stuff right now. Relationship-wise, homie-wise, people-wise, people in the street. Just people in general, you know what I'm saying? And reality, because everybody's not your friend. You know what I'm saying? Everybody try to use you for something. And everybody claim they're your homeboy. Or everybody claim they're going to be around you for the rest of their life. Or girls or guys. Just go for in general, you know what I'm saying? Everybody said they your people. And they, they out here really using you, you feel me, cuz? And... You should know who your real love is or your real homeboys is is when you're down and out. Yeah. Cause and I'm down and out. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no rich nigga. Yeah. I tell people if you know off the rip, I'm a broke nigga who's trying to do a thing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't yeah, I stay fresh but I am the fresh OG still though. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I ain't no rich nigga. I'm not out here talking about I got Bentleys and I got this money. So I could pre people, you know what I'm saying? I be preying people. 
Y'all can see that not everybody's your friend. Everybody literally just chilling on you for a reason. Because when I was up before, yeah, I had money. Sometimes I be splurged and then you see certain friends come around. But like my father said, and people said, and in general, in life in general, you know who you are because I have two things, dead or in jail, or when you're broke, three. You know what I'm saying? And I've been both. I ain't seen dead yet, you know what I'm saying? I hope that's long from now, but been to jail and I also been broke. Right now I'm fucked up. Money ain't coming cracking like that. I keep it funky, you know what I'm saying? I say to my song on my IG, I'm a broke nigga, you know what I'm saying? And then I see it was really going on with it, you know what I'm saying? My homies, yeah, I got a couple homies. So then my homies, I got people who left me. Niggas stop fucking with me for no reason. They even tell me the reason. Probably because I ain't into the limelight. I'm not into all that mixy crowd. I'm not with the fake shit. I'm not with none of that bullshit. I do me. I, I live my life and do me. So if you go on my Instagram, you don't see me. You know what I'm saying? Girls, female, relationship wise. Girls say they be loving you, but they don't really love you. They just probably don't want to be around because they want money. So they just leave your ass because you broke. You know what I'm saying? This is my life. I be, I'm going through like everything probably you go up. I'm not these new typical rapper. I'm not going to make fake love. Fake love, man. It, it speaks for itself. Fake love, man. Not everybody out here really love you, man. Yeah. Point back period. Yeah. Everybody out here don't really love you, cuz. Yeah. And you know who your true friends are. You know who people really have your back no matter what. Yeah. Cause like word to crit right now, the only people who really, really got my back, if you wanna keep it. I know niggas gonna be bad when they see this. Niggas who really, really got my back, my baby mother. Shout out to her, CC. She stacked with me no matter, even though she know what I'm going, she know I'm dealing with other people, whatever. She sticks with me no matter what. She got my back, help me through stuff. I'm going through crazy stuff right now. She stick with me no matter what. And my homegirl, my best friend, E Black, she sticks with me no matter what. If I'm broke, literally, if I'm going to party, she got me. She got my back. KNS. KNS don't got to work with me. That's my dog. He's my dog. You know what I'm saying? He got to work. He still helped me, promote me, and push me to do music and keep it. And he with me. He know I'm broke. He still look out for me. My nigga Jesse. He looks out for me, help me with beats and all that stuff. My nigga Loco motivate me, talk to me about stuff. All these people I'm naming, my cousin Murder, all these people still stick with me no matter what. When I have money, they still around me. When I'm broke, they when I have money. When I'm going through hard times, cry, broken heart, whatever. These are the people who are still around me no matter what. They don't care about none of that. I'm a real nigga cuz and they like the realness about me. I keep it 100 and all the shit. I go hold this up, but I don't want to hurt people's feelings, but yeah. <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's Get good. Ass. I want to crip my hair. For sure. There's one other song that's a real deep song on the album. It's on this on this mixtape and on this album. It's a song called Bible in My Back Pocket. Can you explain to me? For me, this is a big song because for any hood nigga that would ever think that he could walk around with a Bible in his back pocket and understand what the meaning of, of carrying that is. I want them to get that and then I also want, you know, you to explain, you know what I'm saying, just the understandings of why you wanted to make that song to make that known to people. Like I said, I'm a real youth, you know what I'm saying? And like if I don't know if people don't know, I'm from Jamaica, you feel me? And my household, we we my father, my father teach me about the Bible, my mother teach me about my father really teach me about the Bible. And always keep it on me. And my mother always keep it on me. Since I was looking at you, she always leave a Bible on my bed, take it to school and all that stuff. And I also read the Bible. And I, no matter what I do, I always believe in my God. You know what I'm saying? Words to mother right now. It's not in my back pocket, it's in my side pocket. Because I'm going to back pocket with the fans. No matter where I go, no matter what I do, I'm going to always have my Bible on me. You know what I'm saying? I believe in my God. That's all. I just woke up my Bible. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, in the song, I said, Everything happened for a reason. God makes stuff happen for a reason. He make you have a small circle for a reason. He make you have, he put people in life for a reason. Everything what you do in life is for a reason and everything you do is cause of God. You know what I'm saying? There's no way you could be out here talking about you doing this and doing that and don't believe in God. Even though I do some sins and stuff, yes, I hope he forgive me. He's gonna forgive me no matter what, if he asks for the forgiveness, he do it. He do it, he does it. You know what I'm saying? But I just believe in my God. So Bible on Black Pocket was just a song. As the beat, I like that beat. And, and that's something I really do. I really walk my Bible in my back pocket. And everything you listen to the words is stuff that really happened in my life. People come in my life and leave my life. My circle is kind of small and it just makes you start thinking. And when you when you going through stuff in your life and hard times and crazy stuff going times, when you read your Bible, it really calms the nerve. You know what I'm saying? 
but for me it don't really don't spaz out because sometimes you yeah, have temptation to go do certain stuff but when i read the bible it calms me by and and let you know stuff because if you read the bible literally if you read the bible what it tells you it tells you stuff before time what's really going on right now you know what i'm saying so when you read the bible basically just read your bible you know what i'm saying and i'll keep my bible on me i literally everything i rap about is for real i have my bible in my back pocket and everything i say about something is real talk you know what i'm saying I just believe in my God. You see, I have my rosaries on too. This ain't no joke thing. You know what I'm saying? That's me. And I went to Catholic school. I was just, I was raised in the church, father from church, and everybody know you're from Jamaica. We you always know, have either a Bible in our pocket or not. Jamaican. You know what I'm saying? I'm a yardman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>